Hi, I'm Duke of Boots and welcome to the Draco. This base is a Geo Trio Gigachad base. You could say it's a West Bromwich Albion equivalent of bases. It's that good. It centers around three chatted out mobility shoots, which I'm really excited to show you. So no more yapping, let's get into the tour. Okay, let's start off the tour by going into one of three disconnectable TCs. Just jump in here. Each TC comes with a bed and a locker, so that's one for you and your two teammates. Here's the cost of them, so just times that by three for the total cost of the externals. And we'll come out of there. I've been told to uh, mute the in-game sound while I do the tour. Please let me know how that is, if it works or not. So coming into one of six entrances, yes six. It's a pretty standard entrance here, but it does come with a double door airlock. Coming into the compound, you've got an auto turret to the left, an auto turret to the right. Uh, a mobility shoot there, that's one of three, and an oil refinery. Another mobility shoot here. These can take you from the east of the compound to the west of the room, faster than you can say cat They're on toast in Ohio. I've used chain link fence as a funnel wall. It's up to you whether you want to use double doors or keep it like that. And that's the entrance there to your mobility shoot. As you can see, look, the other gatehouse here. there and you can see another turret up there now let's get into the base itself you can see you've got a locker to the right some of these garage doors i've left open just to get through the uh, build quicker straight to the left you've got a computer station for any oils oilers out there can say that word oilers mixing tables beautiful pictures uh battery um repair bench with some boxes and a six box loot room this six box loot room is uh, a rocket to raid, but obviously you'd have to get past the turrets first. Here you've got two um, boxes behind low walls, so they're really hard to loot. And jumping up onto the shooting floor, you can see you've got two bedrooms with two lockers. And they've got garage doors on them as well. To the left and right, you can see uh, this creates another airlock for your shooting floor. And going on to the shooting floor itself, you've got your normal window peaks, and here you've got some peaks down. You can't go up and down these peaks, um, so if you do die, nobody's going to get into the base. This is one of the entrances to the um, mobility chutes, and these doors are put like that on purpose to cover you in case you're shooting through the wide gaps, and it covers you from a wide angle, so you don't get shot. If you want to shoot further afield, then just close the door. So those doors opening like that give you great protection from any potential raiders or even people just outside in the compound. That obviously is part of your mobility shoot. Now here you've got two more of these peaks. I don't know what they're called. I first saw them on Goliath's video, I think. I think it was Goliath now. Could have been Pip. And here you have a roof take back peak. You can see there an auto turret looking right at you and some shotgun traps at the sides. So we'll run down here, as you can see this base is completely symmetrical, so as you've got your three mobility shoots, you've got your three different kinds of peaks, yeah it's all the same. So let's jump up onto the roof now if I can. Okay here you can see you've got three beds, um, you can change this up and I'll show you how to change it up uh, in the build. Two auto turrets looking at you and there's an auto turret behind, two um, windmills, wind turbines, Plenty of shotgun traps, just in case you, uh, someone gets onto your roof. They get onto the roof, they've got absolutely no chance. And here, at the top of the mobility peak, this is where you have the barrels for when you spawn, because there's no lockers up here, so when you spawn on the bench, you get your stuff like the barrels. And you come from these raised uh, ramp peaks. You've probably all seen these before. They're really quite good. And obviously these peaks are going to be used for shooting people further afield, rather than that's in your compound. All the peaks are designed to get angles on either in the compound or further afield, if that makes sense. So coming down to the mobility chute, this is back onto your shooting floor, which we've just seen. And we go down one more. And this is the peak of doom. Because this peak isn't designed to shoot outside the base, it's designed to shoot inside the base. So if raiders do get inside your base and you're losing the raid, you can throw grenades from there, because them walls obviously won't be there, they'll be blown up. You throw grenades or HVs if you've got them inside the base. 
try and stop them from escaping. Okay, and then we're back down into the compound again. I mean, if you're using the peaks of doom, you're probably a bit screwed anyway, to be honest. So now uh, I'm trying to get back into the base, but I can't find the entrance. Who designed this thing? Okay, right. Up the ladder back into the base. You've seen this part of it. So now we'll go down to the core. Okay, in front of you, you've got four electric furnaces and two lockers down there. That's plenty of storage. And here, this is where your bunker's going to go. It's a roof bunker. I'll show you this right now. Just put that down, upgrade that to HQM. And then when you're ready uh, to bring the bunker down, just take out the uh, wooden floor. Just replace the floor and then repeat to put the bunker back up again. It's pretty straightforward. And here to the right side, you've got two more electric furnaces, your tier three bags. And to the left, you've got your main TC loop room. And here's the cost of the main TC. Right, let's build it. Okay, we start off with a triangle foundation and two square foundations. And we wall it all in. And put a lid on it. And then a double door at the front of the triangle foundation. I'll upgrade all this to its final materials, otherwise you'll be all, all, here all day watching this uh, build. It's quite a big build. I'll do other things to speed it up as well, uh, to make it as quick as possible, not to waste your time. Put the TC back as far as you can into the corner, because we're going to put a shelf there in a minute. And obviously two double doors here. And this starter base is nice and secure, even when you don't have the materials. So we'll come outside to the side where the TC is. Triangle, half wall, triangle, triangle. I'm sure you've all done that before. And you can upgrade this to wood. There's no need for it to be stone, save on materials. So coming out to the front now, you want a square foundation and two walls and stick a lid on it. This needs to be wood. Shouldn't be upgraded to anything more than wood. Otherwise you'll have to do uh, like jackhammer it out and a raised triangle foundation that needs to be sheet metal and nothing more at the moment. It will need to be HQM in the future, but HQM has, has a bigger hitbox. So we're going to leave it sheet metal for right now. So this is how you're looking now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all the foundations down for the honeycomb and then I'll give you a bird's eye view. So it's two triangles at the side and then a triangle with two triangles each side at the end of the squares. Man, I'm pretty sure that doesn't make sense at all. But you can see what I'm doing. And I'll go up now and give you a bird's eye view of it. This is how it looks with walls on. And finally with the ceilings on. We'll go down now and sort, sort out the jump up. You don't have to do this in this order. Um, I'm just going to show it in this order because it's easier. So you put your uh, lockers in. Now these lockers are a bit awkward, a bit fiddly. You can see I'm struggling with it a little bit, but they will go in. At some point, honestly, there you go. <laughs> but if this is upgraded to HQM, you cannot get these uh, lockers in at all. You've got no chance. So once you've got the lockers in, you can upgrade it to HQM. And follow around that with uh, walls, full walls. Upgrade those and stick a lid on the top. Do not put a lid in the middle that's going to be a jump up to your shooting floor so when you're ready you can get the electric furnaces if you can find them i'm not going to put all the deployables down it's just showing you this because it's important you need to put these in first before you put these on and upgrade and pop these in for extra protection and then upgrade that. When you put these in, um, put these in first, you can put low walls there as well. Makes them hard to uh, loot. Okay, 
So going on the first floor, we go all around the base um, with full walls. On the right hand side here, you want a double door frame and a wall next to it. So it looks like that. We'll jump down now and get the inside of the base done. We're going to put a wall here. The reason why having the wall there, because that's the side of your tool cupboard underneath it. And here you want a triangle. Like so. This is where your battery is going to go. So make sure your battery is in there before you put the uh, window frame on. And then pop double doors all the way around. Now, these will actually be garage doors, obviously. Not double doors, but you know what I mean. Then stick your lid on it. Shut up, cargo. And your double door on the front. This door can actually be a uh, garage door when you have the compound down. I've got it as a double door in the intro. And then we come up to the top. And we put a jump up. Um, it's a standard jump up. Make sure it's sheet metal. And we'll have a garage door here. And as if like magic, everything's upgraded. So we just go in here now to have a quick look. All the garage doors are down like so. And obviously you can fill it out as you want. We've got a pretty strong base now already. So now we'll drop down right in front of the double door. And to the right hand side we'll put a square. And then a triangle. Delete the square. And go forward two squares and put a triangle on the end. Delete back. And then come back in a half point shape. Delete those. And then upgrade these to stone. I will show you this on each side, but I won't show you the whole mobility shoot. Again, for just to speed up the video. You only need to see it once because it's all, uh, it, the base is symmetrical. So it's exactly the same on each side what I'm doing. So if you need to watch it again, just watch it when I do it the first time, basically. But I will put the footprints down just so you can see, so you know exactly where they are. this is stone and give you a bird's eye view so that will be the footprint of your mobility shoots so two walls and a jump up delete the bottom wall obviously double door frame and then you want two door frames in the front. This is where I put the uh, chain link gates, but you can put normal double doors if you wish. And we jump up, two more walls, and then a single door frame in front. This is your, that's your last ditch attempt peak, whatever I called it, I can't remember. And then you put your ladder hatch in. Probably the frame for the ladder hatch. Sorry, I was swearing at cargo. As you do. Yes, and I don't have a ladder hatch ready, and I should do. I know. I never have everything ready. No matter how, how hard I try, there's always something I forget. So you jump up here now. Right, triangle facing forward or towards the base, and then two squares look uh, coming from the base itself. So that's how it will look. And then we uh, put another wall in, but no jump up on this time because we're going to have another ladder hatch at the top. And close that in with another ladder hatch. double door like so
This uh, mobility chute obviously isn't connected to um, the main base, so it's going to need an external and a gatehouse on it. So you have four triangles, delete the first one, because we're going to connect it to the base using these double door frames here. Sorry, two, we're going to connect it to the mobility chute using uh, double door frames. Now you can have a double door frame at the front or a single door frame. A uh, single door, that's entirely up to you, it makes no difference. I think in the intro I had a single door. I can't remember because it, it's not it's not important. In fact, I'm going to make it a single door. OCD. Make sure it's the same as what the um, tour was. Okay, then we come out the front. We put a triangle foundation and then go in a half moon followed by a square. Triangle at the front, another square, and a triangle at the side. This is going to be your external TC. Single door, and then wall it in. Here you want two half walls. This creates the stability you need to be able to disconnect it. And another single door frame for uh, an airlock. Stick a lid on it. And here, that's where your um, locker will go. And obviously, uh, you TC as far back as possible and to put a bed in there as well. So now what we do, we follow the path at the bottom, but at the top with frames. So where there's a square at the top, put a square, and where there's a triangle at the bottom, put a triangle. Upgrade all of these. And then you can delete the swig underneath it. To disconnect the TC, which most of you will know, you just put a square foundation and a roof. And there you go. Disconnected. So I'll reconnect that now. And that's your whole mobility chute and your external tool cupboard done. I'm now going to repeat that process, but I'm not going to uh, put you through me building it all. And that's what it looks like when all three have done. All three are done. I don't know, English fails me sometimes. Right, we come to where the square are at the back of the base. We put four squares, double door frames, a double door frame here, and a wall, although you can have a window at the back if you prefer. I've got a window in the intro, but I actually prefer a wall, I think. Um, leave the back two squares as a uh, twig because you're going to delete them in a second. And you're going to attach it to the base with two uh, frames. And you can delete the twig. Here you can have a shop window. And a double door. Make sure the double door is facing inwards and this double door is facing inwards. That will give you the airlock. Pop your windows on. And as the base is symmetrical, we're going to do this two more times. And now we're starting to look like a Giga Chad base. So we're going to jump down now and we're going to put two half walls down. Make sure the soft side is facing towards the base. And then put two uh, roof pieces on facing towards the base as well. Upgrade them to stone. And then jump on to the next one, which is where your auto torques are going to go. Straight forward. And now we're going to repeat this process going across the base. So 
Time now for barricades and walls. The barricades go on straight forward, look. Can't get that wrong. I pop these down using dodgy editing. And the external high wall. So now we get to uh, finish off the shooting floor, which is quite a fun bit to do. You want a double door frame each side uh, and put a lid on it. I know it's called a ceiling, but I like to say a lid. Another double door frame there. And then wall in these two. Stick a lid on it. And two double door frames. Upgrade these to stone. These are, your these are the two bedrooms uh, for your shooting floor. Put a garage door there, a garage door there, and then have a double door so you can get out faster. They can't get beamed if someone's on your shooting floor. These two garage door, these two normal double doors need facing outwards, so that will create the airlock that I showed you in the intro. Right, I'm going to shut up for a second and speed this up slightly because it's very, very straightforward and very repetitive. And I'll come back at this part as we're making our jump ups. This is one of two jump ups uh, to the shooting floor. So this door needs to be uh, facing outwards, my apologies. That creates um, protection from when you're using your wide gaps. See that one's like that. Yeah, I need to learn how to edit properly. So here where there's two walls, you want two uh, roof triangles. Upgrade them to stone. This is gonna be your uh, roof take back peak. And then the opposite side, you're gonna have another jump up. So that gives you five uh, entrances to your um, roof which is about four too many but there you go and then you just follow the path below you where there's a square underneath you put a square where there's a triangle you put a triangle just be careful not to wall in your jump ups and here where your um, roof take that peak is, you want two low walls, upgrade them. And then two half walls, upgrade them and then put a ceiling on the half wall. Like so. I'm upgrading all this to sheet metal. I don't know why, because it all doesn't need to be upgraded to sheet metal. Just the three squares and the triangle uh, in the middle. Uh, actually, in the triangle after it uh, needs to be sheet metal. But I've just done it that way, it's quicker. I'm very conscious about it being a very long build. So now you're um, just making your entrances to your roof.
And up here you want two with triangles and that's where one of your auto turrets will go. And here you want three triangles with three triangle with pieces. Now we're going to finish off our uh, mobility chute. Two square floors, windows all around, windows all around, stick a lid on it, double door frame. Upgrade the floors to sheet metal so they don't get soft sided. And then two raised uh, ramps. And then pop in these, these are a bit awkward to put in, they're a bit of a pain, they're not terrible. Oh, until I want to do it, but not. If you want these facing inwards, if you can, you get a better view. But I'll do it from the outside. I promise you they're not that difficult. And then pop your boxes underneath as well. Because you can have three beds on the roof, so you you don't have lockers. So these are where you're going to put your, uh, your bolty or whatever you want. don't have barrels I think you can use small boxes. Upgrade your roof pieces to stone. See you got nice little views out here, nice little peaks. Now we're going to put down our wind turbines and I will speed this up for you as well because these are self-explanatory. Okay, I just want to show you one or two things you can do differently with the roof if you prefer. On here I have them triangles, but if you prefer you can have turret pods on here like that. And have your turrets there rather than this triangle. And the reason for that is you might want to put a wall, vending machine, and use that as a vending machine bunker and then have a vending machine, working vending machine that is available by drone. That's entirely up to you. But this is it, this is your base complete. Thank you very much for watching.